Hello and welcome back to So April. So today I have another Timu haul and this one really isn't a whole lot of crafting. It's more of just stuff that you really could use around the house or can help you like organize some stuff. So I will go right on in. Um, and this is like two or three um, packages that I have bought. I did not include a lot of the stuff that I bought for my new birds. So if anyone's interested in bird stuff, just let me know or ask me any questions. Um, I will go ahead and pop in two pictures. So one of the things I did get for my parakeets is a little pet, um, like a little thing that you can put them in. You can put it in for cats or dogs or any other kind of animals you have. I bought it for my parakeets so that way they have a safe place to go when I'm cleaning the cage and I don't have to worry about them getting lost or anything. So I will have pictures of that up and I love the size of it. It fits on my coffee table so it's very convenient. It does have little rods that you put in on the sides and that's what gives you support. If you want you can actually take the rods out and then fold it up and it does have a bag which is very convenient. So yeah there's that and I will go right on into what I had gotten so first of all oh I got a little movie star over here let's see if you can see him right there that's Steve and then the girl's Diana if she decides to show herself I'll show her but yeah they're right there so I had got this bag of multicolored ponytails and these are the kind that are like the super stretchy and I love them. They do not hurt your head and you know they hold very well. So yeah I really do like these. Sorry that they're being loud. I tried to cover them some so that would stop them but I'm new to the birds and I hope that's not very distracting for y'all. So that is the ponies and I think it was like two dollars or something but these I love. And then I got this for my bathroom. Um, it's supposed to be like when you look from the outside coming in you're not supposed to be able to see people and from the inside out let me see if I can get this tape off. It looks like a stained glass window. Oh my. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get it all out. But, um, but yeah, it sticks to the window as if it was, um, like a tent. I don't want it totally undone because then you... But, um, yeah, it's very, very pretty. And like I said, it has a stained glass window look. And then you, like, peel off the film and place it on the window. And then you, like, squeegee it. And it's supposed to look really nice. I'm sure at night you can see shadows through it. But I'm hoping that it works out pretty good. But I love that. I thought that was so pretty. My husband was, like irritated because he didn't want to have to deal with it. I told him it's that's fine. I'll deal with it. You know, it's fine. Um, I will show I have stamps. This is um, some bees. I thought these were so cute. My youngest daughter loves bees and I thought, oh, those would be really cute in a lot of things. And then I thought these would be really cute for textures. Um, we've got mermaid scales and raindrops and a grid and little plus signs and diamonds and then the last one which I totally love I don't know what these words mean so I'm not going to say it because it's another language but I love the stars I love stars so much and there's a ton of them so yeah different sizes shapes and then this big cluster is one piece. So yeah, there's that. Um, I did get some kits. So
so this is a travel kit and they had it labeled for like yarn and stuff and I needed it for another function um I don't know if I have the piece in here that I took out or not well I don't know if it's in here or if it's in my other one let's see oh no so this one has a piece missing I'll show you on the other one this one whoopsie I put all my paints in here because it's a pretty pretty good size you know thing I put my I have these Crayola um, pencil things and then I have these oil pastels I put them in the little container and then my watercolors I think I had showed you before I bought that on the last haul these are really nice I did test them out um, I have my little plate thing for the um, Crayola ones and then on the side it's got a little mesh bag and I have my little acrylic um, paints there so I thought this way I have all my paint stuff in here and it makes it really convenient if I feel like I want to be painty whoops hold on so there's that and like I said there's an insert that I do not have in here and I'll show you on the other one okay so this is the other one I ordered it on a separate order and it was a different um, company and they're actually I don't know if you can see the black one is actually a little bit smaller and like it's smaller all the way around just a little bit here a little bit there and yes I know it's smaller because my paint stuff will not fit in this one but that's fine so this one I have for my pens and pencils and stuff which I'm gonna and I ended up buying another organizer for that because I don't like the way this ended up working I tried putting my electric eraser and my stuff in there erasers and stuff and then it has the little piece that I said the insert and this was from the other one and they just velcro velcro off which is kind of nice if you want to use it for stuff and then I have my pencils in here um, but like I said it doesn't really hold the stuff I need securely um, so I will be using another organizer that I've got coming in the mail all right and these ones are only like three dollars I think I will definitely use it for something else probably um, stickers or something because I have a ton of stickers we all know this okay and then I'll show you a fell organizer and I actually got my money back for this and I'll probably end up using it for thing I don't even know so it's like this and it's supposed to sit up on your desk like this so that way all your stuff is your pens and stuff are all organized in here and I thought well that'd be really nice when I do my um, adult coloring books because then I could have my white gel pens my Posca I could have my color pencils I could have my um, anything I need for that particular coloring page I can have it all out here and use it at the same time and for that project in case if I end up you know splitting the like I don't end up finishing in one day and I do it another day I thought this would be great I could put everything in here and then just come back to it the next day and then have it sitting on the desk and be able to use what I need and I thought that'd be really nice problem is even with stuff in here it flops down and like that's the most you you can really get out of it and it's very irritating and made me very upset because it was not what it was supposed to be and I don't know what is up with that zipper being so off 
I don't know. It, I just don't like this one at all. And like I said, if I could perhaps use it for stickers or something else, I will, but I mean, because I just hate to like throw it away. Um, I might even, honestly, I might even end up putting it at a thrift store because I really don't like it. So, yeah, there's that. And then I'm going to go to my favorite organizer. And this is definitely for pencils and whatever you need. Um, this one I did pay like $6. And when I went to go look for more, um, they were up to like $8. It's totally worth the investment for this. They do have some cheaper. The only thing is you have to make sure the size. This one is a large. They do sm sell them in smaller sizes. But... I love this okay so but I didn't need another one of these that's why I ordered the other one that I ordered so I have all my gel pens here and then I have um, some of my Posca and stuff here and then you just close that up and then we're gonna go to the opposite side And I have my white gel pens and my glitter gel pens and then some uh, color pencils that I use that are extra. And then the center opens up like that all the way through and I have all my acrylic markers in there. So yeah. So that makes it really handy if you have something like that, you know, I, I'm sure you could even put um, alcohol markers or something like that, but I have a whole separate case for that. So yeah, this one is very, very, very nice. Um, all it says is fashion on the little label. So yeah, there's that. Okay, and then... I had got a little scrub brush and I'm sure a lot of people use these in the shower and I know that's your intention to like you know wash your body in the shower and stuff I did not get it for this purpose honestly I had ordered two on Amazon and they were horrible I did pay like $30 I think on Timu for this this one is totally worth it it is amazing so the reason I had bought this myself is because I have psoriasis and I'm sure y'all have seen the spots on my arms in previous videos. Things that works for it, which I know it's not good, it's not quote healthy for you or whatever, is coal tar treatment. Um, I've been using the MG, I think it's 217 or something. Anyways, I rub it on and then I put this on and I'm going to go ahead and play it so you know how strong it is. But you hold it down, there's low, medium, and high. I accidentally hit that too low. But yeah, so it like rubs it in and gets it in there really good. Because if you know about the cold tar, it's like really greasy and slimy on your skin. And this helps absorb it in. I don't know if you can see this right here used to be all the way over and there's actually a clear spot in the center so yeah it's definitely doing something so yeah uh, and then like oh it's hard to, hard to see but yeah it's definitely working it just takes time and <sighs> psoriasis there is no real cure I know some people use um, like the doctor stuff and I tried the Embril before and I had a bad reaction and so I can't use the biologics now but this does work so yeah if you need any relief like mine were bleeding and cracking and horrible so this definitely helps me with that and it was only like three dollars it was on sale it's one of those um, folding t-shirt things I told my daughter about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, you can use this if you want. And she goes, why do I need that? I can fold myself. And I was like, okay. Fine. So I thought that was funny. And then, oops, 
these are coming out of the bag, so I'll just go ahead and show them next. Um, because I've been practicing with my drawing and stuff like that, I had never used mechanical pencils before until recently. And I bought some on Amazon to see if I liked them first, and I do like them. The ones I got on Amazon are the paper mate and it has the push button where you can like make the pencil longer and then it has the thing where you can like pull the eraser I don't know I don't like the eraser on this and honestly I have other erasers so I don't really care about that I do like this has a little cushion grip but I wanted some cute ones and I haven't tested them out yet but these were just so adorable they're just little uh, I guess little girls I was to say quiet I don't know if that's the right word or whatever and I had bought these thinking that these little grips would work on them but I think I tried and I don't think it worked I think those are yeah those don't really work for that I think these are like for regular pencils I don't know I told my youngest daughter I was like mm, I can just give this to you because I don't like them so yeah just that and then I got some more and these ones do have the cushion grip um, I don't know if you can really see the little character there's like little this one has like a little bunny and a little bear uh, uh, it's probably really hard to see and then there's another little bear on that one and this one looks like a ninja kitty so yeah these are really cute and they had leads the pencil leads for it and these are I think they were like three dollars and you get like a ton so that was a really good deal and then I got paint brushes I have not tried these out yet I did buy a set of paint brushes on um, Amazon and I need to figure a way to like organize my paint brushes so if you have any suggestions on how to like organize different types because like like this I've got blue or purple <coughs> can't even talk I've got blue I figure these ones are the kind that a lot of people use for water coloring so these will probably be for water coloring along with the set I got from Amazon <coughs> and this one I think I'm gonna use for like my acrylic and maybe gouache or something so yeah, but I need to figure a way to store these. For random projects, whenever I use um, paint or, I don't know, alcohol ink or something, and I want to get messy, it's just one of those like little blower bulb things. So there's that. And then little, I thought this would work to put in my cap for my glue for my sugar bell bottle to keep the glue bottle from being sealed because they are stainless steel but they're not the right thickness so I'll just use them for jewelry and make something out of them eventually and then I got these charms I thought these would be cute for junk journal for my um my sewing journal like there's oh, it's hard to see like here's a little hanger and some scissors let's see we got a sewing machine but I thought those were really cute and then I got these plate these book plates and you can put them on dresser drawers or on journals or whatever you want really honestly so I got these uh, brass I believe oh bronze so this one's the bronze and it's a nice little bronzy color and then I also got the silver 
it's, yeah, I didn't realize those had screws in there, so, yeah. And then, for my kitchen, for my air fryer, I got these little paper, let me see, because I use, this, I use another kind from Amazon, and, yeah, these are just bigger than the ones I have. Currently, I have little circle ones, and I do like the little square, so that's nice. Um, and then I got some uh, cheesecloth, and I plan on using my alcohol inks to, like, dye them and stuff, so I can, like, cut them up in my journals and stuff, so I thought that would be nice. And then, I also got this, let's see if I can get this out of the... Okay. I thought this was nice. It's like a ladle and then it has the little strainer here. So if you want to get something and you don't want, say you're getting soup and you don't want all the liquid and you want like the meat and potato there, you can like scoop it out that way. But I thought that was nice. And then I thought these were so cute. It comes in a bag like this, and obviously I don't have any fruit or vegetables in here, but it's an ant, and you can put grapes on it with the little skewer here, or tomatoes, and you can like have it at a picnic or on your table as a decoration. I just thought they were so cute, I had to get them. Totally love them. Uh, one thing I did get from my bird cage, and I do not like them at all. I think I might give them to the bird store down the street. They have um, liners to line the bottom of the cage, which I have like these absorbent ones, and I really like them because they catch everything. Um, this is just, I did not know they were clear, like a little trash bag. Like I said, I'm not a fan, but... If you like them, that's what those are, you know. And then, the last thing, I did order uh, this, which I will show you what it is and why I ordered it. And I've never used anything like this before. So, it is, there's a whole bunch in here, and I might actually have to order more. I bought them for my stamps. And, I don't know how well you can see this, it's just a flat little piece, um, there we go, like that, and it's flat, and it has, uh, you have to peel off the one side, it's a double stick tape that is supposed to be repositional, and we will find that out now, because I had put it on my, I have my container here that I have my stamps on, and y'all know I like having my stamps in this, um, it has a little thing here and then my stamps just stick on that. Well the problem is, these, oops, the problem is I like these to go with the stamps because you can't see what they are because they're clear stamps and you know I want to be able to see so I thought I can tape these to the outside of the plastic and be able to see what I got so that's what I did with this one earlier I put just one piece here for this and that way I could oh it peels the whole thing off Okay. Well, I could peel the whole thing off, and that way I can look, take it with the stamp, and be like, okay, this is the stamp that's in that set, and use this, and then when I'm done, I can just put it back on here. So, that is exactly what I was looking for, because I, these little things in here, these things, tend to fall down in this container and that's the only problem I have with my little system for my stamps but having that as a solution 
fantastic. I totally love it. And I'm sure it's not going to bother, you know, with going on the other sides of the book. So, yeah. Love that idea. So, anyways, that is all for my team haul right now. And, like I said, I'm pretty sure I forgot some stuff. And, you know, it is what it is. So, <laughs> anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. And, uh, as always, if there's anything that you're interested in, I will leave a link down there for you. But, um... I'm not going to link everything because there's always too much to link for this. But as always, just comment if there's anything that you would like a link to and I will put a link down there for you. So, I hope you all have a very blessed day and I will catch you next time. Bye.